G'day guys and girls, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to talk about another little mod that I did that I didn't film and that is these white line adjustable camber bolts. What are they, how do they work and why might you want to fit them? Let's take a look at what an adjustable camber bolt is. These ones are from Whiteline. There's a few other different brands that make them as well, but it's a specialized bolt. Now, if you take your front wheel off, have a look at your shock assembly, and there's two main bolts that attach the shock absorber to the hub. This is gonna replace the very top one, and that's what's gonna give you your adjustment. Now, as you can probably see, it's offset. So the shaft and the thread is not actually centralized to the head so that when you do turn it, it, it you're going to have a bit of movement and then again it's got what is essentially a lobe a cam lobe on the bolt and that's where you get most of your adjustment now for this to work you have these locking tabs and to fit them you basically want it to point to the inside of the car for negative camber you want it to point to the outside of the car if you want to adjust for positive camber but that'll slide over and as you can see if i hold that and just turn it you can see the head of the bolt actually moves inwards as does the cam so that's where that offset shaft comes into play with your locking bolt this will actually lock into the existing hole where the existing bolt is and then that'll help with the, the movement. Now you're going to want to undo the bottom bolt as well to loosen it because these threads you don't want to damage them. The bolt itself is a little bit ovaled so it's very hard to, to screw on. You can only get it yay far by hand so you might want to make sure that these threads are intact don't just hammer it through make sure that you've got enough adjustment from the bottom bolt so that you can sort of jiggle it through without damaging them why would you want to fit adjustable camber bolts basically the bolt themselves only cost me about $30 Australian so it's just a way to get a bit of more negative camber which I wanted um, and I'll overlay some footage now of exactly why I wanted to buy some adjustable camber bolts. So as you can tell, that's pretty annoying every 10 seconds driving down the road. Basically, when I had the street tires, the Pirelli P0 Nero GT, they were a 2154017. I think they were a little bit narrower, but they were a little bit more rounded at the top as well. So I was getting enough clearance and there was no scrubbing. When I've gone to a semi-slick, the Yokohama 8008Rs, they're much squarer. I think they sit a little bit wider. Um, and the corner of the tire obviously sits in a spot where it was just catching the inner guard. Now, my particular tires were rubbing at the very top of the inner guard. Another common place on the Fiesta ST for it to rub, there's like a little tab that where the front guard or the front wing joins the front bumper where you screw it in, that's another common spot for it to be scrubbing. So just check there. Another reason that you might want to fit adjustable camber bolts, you might already have your car lowered and you really like how it sits. You might have fit some wider wheels or tires like I did. You want a bit of clearance or you want to start doing some track days and you want a little bit more aggressive negative camber. This is a really cost effective way rather than going fully adjustable coilovers. You will get the most benefit from adjustable coilovers, but if you're happy with your car how it is and you just want a little bit more, these are a great way to just get that little bit more out of your car. Overlaying a picture of my wheel alignment results yesterday, there was 2.06 degrees of negative camber on one side and 2.13 degrees of negative camber on the other side. So 
With these camber bolts, that's roughly what you'll get. I was told that they were pretty much set to max. So you're not gonna get much more. Probably not gonna want much more for a daily. Uh, mine is my daily, I just wanted it to stop scrubbing. Uh, but there might be a small benefit at the track as well. As always guys, thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Just a short little video on the camera bolts. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.